as a data scientist. My first video was how to position yourself as a data scientist and in that video I talked about the importance of having a clear definition and being able to define yourself as a data scientist when asked because it is such a new role and um, not many people know what data science is or what a data scientist does. Uh, one of the challenges is, is coming up with a clear definition of what a data scientist is what a data scientist is and how they can help. So this video I thought I'd concentrate on um, giving a how-to guide on how to define yourself as a data scientist. I've got four major points that I wanted to go through in this video and they are the uh, formal, defini uh, formal definition that um, actually comes from the NSF, the National Science Foundation, and um, a simplified essentials that uh, I bring out of that definition and then a four quadrant um, approach in defining data science and the data scientist role and then um, a simple what, how, who and why model that you can apply when uh, introducing the role um, or um, explaining what you do and defining yourself as a data scientist. So let's get into it. So for the formal definition, uh, this definition came from a report produced for GISC that uh, describes the roles and uh, skills of a data scientist. It was produced in July 2008 and I'll be sure to put a reference uh, on the page to uh, that report and um, it actually pulls a another reference to the National Science Board and their definition of what data scientist is and uh, in that report so they refer to NSF and the National Science Board's definition which goes on to say that um, the data scientists are information and computer scientists, databases and software engineers, programmers and disciplinary experts, curators and expert annotators, librarians, archivists and others who are essential for the successful data management of digital data collections. And if you're like me, you're someone who actually gets excited about all those hats in that role and uh, the opportunity to learn the different aspects of those uh, different roles and bring them all into one that is now being called the data scientist. And um, that's not going to say, I don't think it's going as far to say that the data scientist takes over those roles but uh, essentially needs to know about what happens in all of those aspects and um, maybe one or two uh, is the uh, role that excels, that you might excel in. So I know for me, um, I'm definitely excelling more in the computer scientist, programmer and database, um, database developer uh, side of things than I would be as a librarian or uh, even a disciplinary expert. So but I am really interested in all those fields and I know about them and I, and I have um, the ability and have in some positions and some um, projects actually had to fill in the role um, of most of those as, as a single person. And um, that is really what data science is about and being able to be able to pick up or know what's actually involved in um, essentially data management and um, what a, the data scientists can bring to the team um, as well as being ha able to have a formal process in, in getting things done as well as letting everyone know um, or, or having the value of what you're doing be seen by the team and also the end user. So 
Um, this, yeah, definition, I love this definition, and it was one of the first formal definitions that I found, and uh, if you get a chance to find the report and look, read it, um, it's a really, really good report. So, for my number two is the simplified the essentials of uh, defining yourself as a data scientist. And I fall back on this all the time when uh, talking to people who I know don't really know what data science is or what um, a data scientist does. And um, I was essentially use those three words and information. So data scientists to me organize, package and deliver information uh, to others. Now those that others can be uh, interchanged with any uh, person you like who, who deals with digital data and is, is actually going to be used, uh, make use of a data scientist. And um, that makes the basis of what um, essentially a data scientist does. So to jump straight into number three, which is the four quadrants, I've left the uh, essentials, essentials of what a data scientist does up on the board and included the other three around them. And that, essen that essentially, those essentials are what a data scientist does. But now we start to see some others come in and uh, in the top right here, we've got uh, the data scientist provides a roadmap of best practices. And that's all about processes and frameworks in achieving what needs to be done, achieving uh, how you organize, package and deliver the information. So in the bottom uh, now, we on the bottom left I've written a translator across cultures and um, my experience in working in a number of different research and projects is that there are essentially a lot of culture ba cultural barriers that get um, un unconsciously developed between um, different organizations or, or uh, teams. For example, the IT team and the uh, research team, if, um, if, if there is a need for external resources from an IT software company, then the data scientist essentially is the best person you put forward to work out what needs to be done and also test what comes back before it goes up to the research team. The, the, the translator role there is really important, I feel in terms of uh, those cultural barriers. And those cultural barriers can also be on the uh, business side for the research team to the business team. So some of the higher level stakeholders that might be involved in the study or project, as well as the public. So um, essentially to, across, to come across, translate, come up with the best method to translate the results from um, the scientific results over to a, a realistic public uh, cultural uh, understanding of what the uh, what the what the results mean. So that's a bit about translating uh, the role of translating. And um, on the bottom right, we've got identified and shows the value. Now, another essential role of a data scientist is to identify and show the value. Now I've been um, from my experience, seen a lot of um, instances where um, I, I can, I don't, for some reason, I see more value than than what perhaps the the research team would. And, um, I know they're focused on getting the job done, and, uh, and, and essentially they just want to get the results, and they don't mind if it's in an Excel spreadsheet um, or uh, a, a uh, even a flat. Um, text file, but I can see a lot more value in putting it in a relational database. And um, unless I show them the reasons why that there's a value add to actually developing um, data using a centralized repository rather than an Excel spreadsheet, um, they they would. Well, why wouldn't you? you just go with what what you think you needs to be done. So 
identifying and showing the value to others um, in the team and uh, <coughs> throughout the project is an essential role of a data scientist. So that makes up the four quadrants and I use that a lot when I'm going deeper than the, what a data scientist does if I want to define uh, the role of a data scientist. So on to the fourth point, and um, I call it the what, how, who and why model. And I've left the quadrant up there again because I think there is a correlation to what was up there before. And um, I use this a lot to uh, define what I do as a data scientist. So what is um, essentially what, uh, what I do in the output and what's get, what's, what is left behind when the project's finished. A how, um, how I go about the process and what techniques and frameworks I use to get those results delivered. Who, who's the team, who am I serving, who do I create value to and for, why. Why are we doing this? What's the bigger picture? And I look at the biggest, biggest picture. I always look at um, how it actually solves the world at an altruistic level. And, um, and I think bringing that why in is, is essentially um, makes the, the essence of the project more and more enjoyable. So um, when I'm using this method for defining uh, my role as a data scientist, I typically take approach to come down this way and across like that uh, in the first instance anyway. I found that people are more interested in the what, who and why model um, and, and later on when you get over that first couple of sentences they start to ask you how anyway. So for an example at the moment um, I'm developing up a centralized data repository for uh, breast cancer epidemiologists so that they can decrease the time it takes from end of data collection to publication by 30%. So that's uh, just a real life example of how I might just blurt out um, and define my role as a data scientist. So that um, is the, uh, the overview of how to define yourself as a data scientist. So if you are a graduate or uh, new to or you're someone transitioning over to data science, perhaps you're someone in one of those roles I wrote up in the first uh, point under the definition, the formal definition. I uh, hope you found some value in, these video, in this video and uh, there'll be further videos to come. I truly believe the data scientist is uh, is a, is a role that is really required not only in my industry in the cancer research if you know me you know that um, I've been working in a lot of cancer research breast cancer prostate cancer um, and, and epidemiology and health research for my career but part of the beauty of data scientists is you can really choose your domain of where and uh, you put your focus in because the commonality being data um, it just yeah sure we need more data scientists in cancer research but um, if it's in uh, climate change or sustainability and uh, these are some ma other major issues that I think the world really needs more data scientists to uh, come on board and uh, help these the research team come up with some um, uh, highly efficient studies So again, thanks for listening and whether you're looking, just looking to position yourself as a data scientist or you are new and uh, add into the data scientist role or maybe you've been a data scientist for a while now, uh, my number one rule is don't panic. Thanks. I think I panicked.